Hello. We're using a plugin called Genesis Extender. It's for the Genesis framework. Uh, it's not a free plugin, you've got to buy it, but in my opinion, it's well worth it. And what we're going to do, we've made a widget area for our website in Genesis Extender. We made it here. This is the widget area we made. And if we go to our page, our website, this is the widget area we made. I'll put a calendar inside it just so it's some content. Now at the moment it appears on every page of the site, every post, every page, everywhere. So, um, what we want to do is choose which pages or posts it appears on. So, what we need to do, I've made a little script, what we're going to do. Right, what you can do, you can target different things like the, the, the home page or front page single posts, so you could have it only appearing on all single blog posts or only appearing on pages but not blog posts and if you know how to make a thing called an array you can make it, an array is a list you can make an array so you could say well I only want to appear on, appear on single blog posts and these are the blog posts I want it to appear on um, all posts and pages have got a, an ID number if you know how to make an array you can use arrays with Genesis Extender so what we're going to do We've already made a widget area in a previous video. We're going to make a conditional a conditional tag. Um, and then we're going to add or attach that conditional tag to our widget, our widget area. And then that'll make it, when we attach the conditional tag to the widget area, that's what makes it appear just on the posts or pages where we want it to appear. So let's have a look in our WordPress dash dashboard, go to extend Genesis Extender Custom, and then we're going to go to Conditionals. So let's have a look. Dashboard, we'll go back to Dashboard and then we know what we're doing. So in our WordPress dashboard, we go to Genesis. Now we've got the plugin installed. So we go to Genesis Extender Custom. And then we've already got a widget area there but we need to make a conditional, so pick that one, conditionals, and these are some I've made earlier. So, the different ones, what, we, what we'll do, we'll add a new one just so you can see how it works. In this box, you click there to click add, then from this examples box, what you do, you, you choose from this list. Now there's loads of things on the list, um, and you can make your own. In another video, I'll tell you about labels, which are really useful, you'll, be, you'll, you'll like labels. Um, which are a bit like this, but uh, you can you can be more selective with the label than you can with, or it, it's easier to be more selective with labels. We're using conditionals at the moment, so we could have is page, which would be pages, is not page, which would be everything but pages. Um, loads of different ones. There's is home, which is the home page, or front is front page. Normally, in WordPress, you used to have to. Um, have is home and is front page were two different things but in this it both if you know what is home and his front page is they both seem to work with that single tag that one um, so that's all you do you choose from the list and then you this is added to your uh, the selections that are available so I'll delete that one before we get too confused when you when you change anything make sure you wait for it to actually process it does take a while sometimes to, to to sort of process and if you start going off doing things before it's finished processing um, it, it won't do it so that's what we did we chose from a drop down list that gave us say is front page if we chose his front page or front page where did we get to front page there in here it will just automatically put this in for us and the other ones are is not page, so that's everything but pages and not pages. Uh, single post, and this is an array, this is just single post. I added on this bit just so I knew which which thing I was dealing with. So you can add things on here. Um, just so that you you know you know when you pick this selector or the conditional, you know which one you're picking. So what we'll do now we'll just we'll go to our widget area because we've, we've got some conditionals here which we've set go to a widget area and all we do from our drop down list you just pick one whichever one you you've got 
because you've already made these that are available to be chosen. We had to make it in the previous step so that we can choose it in this step. So what we'll do, we'll just have is front page and then click save changes. Just wait for it to finish and load and there we go. Now if we go back to our site, if we go to the front page, right, so the calendar is here, this is the widget area I made. But if you go to a post, it's not there. Go to a page, it's not there. But if we go back to the home page, it is there. And that's because we chose the selector or the conditional of is front page. That we'd already we've already made that conditional. Um, so if it's let's see, all, well, all single posts, not pages but blog posts. So save our changes and then go back to our site. So this should only appear, and now it's not on the front page, but this is a blog post, so it should appear there. Which is, pick another blog post. It appears there, but th this one's a page here. This is a link to a page. And it's not there because this is a page, not a post. And we chose single posts, not pages, posts. So what you can, this is an array that I made, a list. Save that one. And go back to our front page. Now what will happen now? It will only appear on, just wait for it to connect up. There we go. It will only appear on some blog posts, the ones that I've listed in my array. You need to know how to make arrays to make this work. So it's on that one. Now it's not on the middle one, this one, because that's not in the array that I made or the list that I made. But it is on the bottom one. There we go. Now to make an array, all you do is, is single and then inside it you put this array and the list of the the IDs of the blog posts you want to use. To get your blog post IDs all you do, see we've got 15 and 19 there so if you hover hover over the, in, in all posts, go to all posts, hover over the name of the post and if you look down at the bottom here it pops up telling you which one it is. So that one's 19 the middle one's 17 and this one's 15. So they're the, the IDs of the posts we use. So if we go back to Genesis, extend the custom, conditionals, and that were 15 and 19. So we chose 15 and 19, but not 17. So it were only the, the blog posts that we chose are the only ones listed. And that's an array. So let's think. Well, we'll go through our little list and see if there's what else we need to know. That's it. We did. Extend the custom conditionals. Add. Then from the examples drop down, you choose one, and then you've got to go to your widget area and choose the one that you've already made. So we made it by going to uh, Genesis Extend the Custom Conditionals. So we went to here. Extend the custom. conditionals and then you want to add just add there choose something from the drop down list so we could have uh, if it's not the front page so that one is we can select any page that is not the front page so it'll display on everywhere but not the front page and once you've made that just click save changes and that will be available in your drop down list when in your widget area so when you've made your widget areas conditionals drop down list and now we've got is not front page so we'll just take that one and then so if we go back to our web page so it should appear now everywhere but it not on the front page so that's the front page but this is not the front page and it's there and this put a post is not a uh, this is a page so this page is not the front page so it appears there. 
but it doesn't appear on the front page so it appears everywhere but the front page and we did that by choosing the selector is not the front page it appears everywhere that is not the front page well that's just how simple it is in another video I'll show you how to use these labels and labels are like do-it-yourself conditionals um, but they're a lot more powerful well, they're, they're, they're easy to use you if you've ever tried to do what labels does by hand you'll, you'll like how easy it is anyway thanks for watching I'll just leave you with this thing so you can um, it gives you an idea of what we're doing and this is what we do we already made a widget area in a previ previous video we are now we're going to make a conditional and in our widget area dialog attach the conditional to our widget area and this is how we did it so if you just stop the video at this point and read through and it should tell you all you need to know thanks for watching and bye for now